Hey Cancerian Massive, what's going on? It's your girl D here with 8th House Energy and I am here to bring you your July 2021 a Silent Enemies reading. First of all, I want to say what's up to the Cancerian Massive. Happy birthday, baby. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful birthday season. Make sure you check out the video I did for you saying happy birthday to you and showing my love to you for all that fly water energy that you bring to the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. This is not a cookie cutter channel. This channel deals with 8th house energy. 8th house energy deals with people's hidden emotions, hidden feelings, their ulterior motives, the psychic abilities. It deals with spell work, witchcraft. Unfortunately, that comes up. Some people don't believe in it, but that's your choice not to believe in it or not. Don't mean it won't affect you. It just means you choose to not pay attention to it. But I digress. So I, I said this to say that, you know, this channel delves into, you know, people's hidden agendas, hidden motives, things that people don't want you to know. But the only thing, way you will find out is if you tap into the ethers and that energy is revealed. So that is what I do here on this channel. So everything is not going to be sunshine and roses here. All right. So for those of you who are familiar with the channel, who have already subscribed, you know what time it is. You're going to get the facts here. All right. Now. A silent enemy is someone who uh, could be close to you, a family member, a friend, a relative, because nine times out of ten, the universal realm, when you understand the universal realm, you understand that the people who are put into your life are put here to teach you lessons. Uh, sometimes these lessons are uh, quite painful because it comes in the form of betrayal, envy, deceit. Uh, manipulation and things like that so what these cards are going to do is take a look at that energy that's around you to see uh, who you need to be uh, alert alerted to or what you need to be alerted to and this also helps you to pay attention to your intuition because your intuition is going to tell you when something is not right now you may ignore it because oh that's just my mom or oh that's just my brother or oh that's just my man or oh, that's just my wife or oh that's just my kid you know, but your intuition is telling you something. So if you keep getting intuitive nudges, it's very important that you don't ignore them. Okay, so let's see what cards come out for you guys uh, in reference to intuitive energies. I'm going to take the first card that came out. What else do we have for cancer? Okay, anything else? One more for cancer. One more. One more. You guys are water signs anyway, so you're, you know, you are empathic, you know, and you follow, you, you guys follow your intuition pretty much anyway. You can't help it. You just designed to be that way, just like me as in Scorpio energy. Uh, but some of us who are too caught into the 3D realm, you know, which is our physical and everything that we can see and touch, uh, you know, we need to be in touch with our creator because we were brought here for a reason. You know, there's some lessons we have to learn. And in order for you to keep in contact with the lessons you're supposed to learn, and, you know, to help navigate through this life, you're supposed to be paying attention to your spirit. So when things don't go right, your, your physical and your spirit fight with each other. And that can manifest into diseases, uh, unha unhappy life, unhappy situations, unhappy relationships, and then it spreads throughout your whole life. So you really need to be in tune with your intuition so that you can avoid um, unnecessary hardships. So we have the um, Page of Pentacle, okay? Uh, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse. We have the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Five of Wands in reverse. So with this first card here with the Page of Pentacles, um, for some of you, this is about your child. Um, you may need to, um, you know, just communicate with them and watch who they're being friends with. Okay, um, you know, especially if they're school age, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, particularly if they're school age kids, you know, because I feel like the, the page represents energy of children who are like um, 16 and under. And I feel like, you know, when it comes to the young adults, the night energy, that's, you know, when they're like 16, actually children who are legal, an under legal age is the page energy. Uh, once they become legal, you know, anywhere from 18 to 21, depending on what we're talking about as far as legalities, you know, because people can fight in war at the age of 18, but yet they can't drink and smoke technically until they're 21. So, you know, between 18 and um, 30 is the night energy, you know, and then 30 above, as far as when it's uh, dealing with astrology, 30 and above is when you're an adult because your Saturn return has come. All right. So that's when you're considered an adult. But, um... Yeah, here the sirens go. So, yeah, some of you definitely need to see what's up with your kids and who they're hanging out with, the type of people they're befriending, who they're giving their loyalty to, okay? And make sure that they're dealing with people who, um, you know, have good intention for them. But, yeah, some of you, you need to check out who your kids are around. 
for others of you, you could have somebody coming towards you who may be wanting to, um, it could be somebody that you have children with, all right? So maybe you're not with this person anymore, or maybe you are. Maybe you're married to this person, maybe you're not. But for those of you, some of you, you have children with this person, and that person, your intuitive nudges may be going off about this person, so pay attention to that. Uh, for others of you, this could be somebody coming towards you, wanting to, um, you know, make amends or be a friend to you or... Um, you know, trying to uh, come to you under the guise of loyalty and that they're really interested in working on a situation with you, but they are not. They're not, in, they're not sincere at all. So be careful of the people who are coming to you, especially if these are people from your past coming back towards you. Um, you know, because we just came out of the Mercury retrograde energies. The time of this, uh, the date of this video is July 4th. Uh, we came out of Mercury retrograde, the hard part of it, uh, July 22nd. I'm sorry, June 22nd or June 23rd, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, but we always have a two-week post-shadow period. It's two weeks. It's usually um, after, you know, it, it always comes after the time frame in which the, the uh, planet goes stationary. <clears throat> and then that energy is like settling for two weeks and then it goes direct. So we'll be out of the Mercury retrograde energy for sure, for sure, by the 6th of July. The post shadow period. So, you know, just because Mercury retrograde is over doesn't mean that you don't have to watch out for people coming back from the past with disloyalty because we still have Neptune in retrograde right now. And Neptune in retrograde is um, revealing to you what's been going on because Neptune is in Pisces and Pisces deals with hidden enemies. And so Neptune retrograde is taking the rose colored glasses off, as I like to call it. And, um, Basically seeing things for what they are, whether it's you fronting on some things and you having to have the, you know, the wool pulled off of your eyes and you have to see the reality of it or the people around you are fake and you have to see what's going on with them. So, you know, when I look at pentacles, I look at loyalty. I look at trust. I look at, um, you know, someone who's coming to you as a, as a friend. But because it's showing up in the silent enemy, this person is fake. It could also be a relative. Pentacles could also be relatives as far as I'm concerned. Um, so you need to check with family members because you may have some fake family members around you as well. All right. Your intuition will tell you what's up. For others of you, this could be about some type of money. Somebody could be coming towards you in reference to wanting to give you money or offer you money. You need to ask yourself why and if you should be taking it. OK, because there could be something else attached to it that you may not know about. You know, somebody, oh, don't worry, I got it. I got it. I got it. And it might be a reason behind it. All right. But if you don't feel comfortable about it, then don't take it. <clears throat> For others of you, this could be about a job opportunity that could be coming towards you. Uh, you know, there could be um, a position that you're interested in or a promotion that you want and it's coming to you. But there's something else with it. OK, you got to take the good and the bad in these types of situations, especially when you're working for other people. So I feel like for some of you, you know, that could be the case in reference to a potential money opportunity coming towards you. Or there could be something going on with your finances where they could be depleted. So be careful with your activities, what you're doing, watch your credit cards, watch what you're, you know, who you're sharing your information with. OK, you can have some issues with finances. Uh Some of you could get some communication in about somebody, you know, as far as them coming towards you. They might email you, send you something via uh, online or, or, or some type of message in reference to them wanting to uh, connect. Somebody could be coming to you asking you for money, too. So be careful of that uh, or telling you that they need money for something. It, it could be a kid. You know, your kid could be playing games with you, asking you for money for something. And it could be an ulterior motive, especially if you got younger kids and the kids are calling you. Hey, mom, I need this or hey, dad, I need this. And say, you know, you don't live with, say you and your child's mother or your child's father don't live together anymore. And your child is with the other parent and your child is old enough where you can talk to your child. But say they're still under 18. Um, this child could be calling you saying, hey, dad, I need money for this or hey, mom, I need money for that. In reality, when the money comes, the other parent is taking it and doing shit with it. That's something I'm feeling, too, for some of you. OK, uh, this eight of wands energy in reverse. Uh, this is energy of, of uh, be careful of frustration, okay? Uh, be careful of your temper. 
for some of you, you may have, um, you know, hyper, you know, high blood pressure, or things like that. You got to be t careful of your temper, especially out here in the heat. If you're in, if you're in the United States, about 80 percent of the people who watch my channel are from the States. 20 percent of you guys are outside the States. So I'm not sure what weather what the weather's looking like for the people outside of the states but here it's hot you know you got the heat waves and the record temperatures if you turn on the news and you'll see all that going on also tempers flaring as well there's a crime wave going on that um is really just out of control and it, it really has to do with that neptune retrograde energy um as well as that pluto retrograde energy and that saturn retrograde energy all of those retrograde energies are a time of reflection and when we're in a time of reflection People have time to see the messed up stuff that's going on around them or the messed up stuff that they've done to people or the messed up stuff that people have done to them. And as a, as a result of that, people get frustrated, okay, and they act out in all kinds of ways. So um, I'm getting a lot of frustration. So be careful with your frustration. Be careful with your temper. Be careful with trying to rush things um, and get things done and get them done quickly because... You know, there could be hiccups and errors that could prevent things from being smooth because you're in a rush. So be careful of waiting to the last minute to do something, okay? Because then what happens is you wait to the last minute and then everything starts going haywire and you get frustrated with everybody else. But in reality, it was you who waited too long to do things and that's why it, it had a trickle effect. Also, be careful of people coming to you being hostile and angry and aggressive. You know, like I said, with all of these planets in retrograde, people are having problems dealing with the reality of their situation, and they could be wanting to take their frustration out on you. Uh, I get for a lot of people there could be some travel delays as well. There could be some issues with your money and travel. Be careful with that, especially making last-minute plans. We're still in retrograde energy with Mercury, and, you know, uh, issues with communication are an issue. Okay, online, maybe something didn't come through. There could have been an issue with transferring of money, uh, issue with uh, credit cards, issue with debit cards. Uh, I feel that energy too. I feel like somebody could be frustrated because their money didn't come through the way it was supposed to. Or they're working with a limited amount of money because their money's being held up for whatever reason. So be careful with being frustrated about that, okay? Uh, check your emails. Make sure that, you know, you're sending the messages to who you're supposed to send them to and they're not sitting in your, you know, your sent box, but they didn't go out. You know what I'm saying? That happens sometimes, too, with Mercury retrograde energy. <clears throat> I don't know about any of you all, but I always get hit. The Mercury retrograde energy always hits me in the post-shadow period. That's why I always talk about the post-shadow period uh, with any planet that's coming out of retrograde. Do not sleep and think that, oh, because they said this date it's coming out of retrograde, meaning that you don't have to worry about it. You still got two weeks, okay, of that energy looming around. Um, somebody, like I said, travel delays, okay, um, you know, it's the holiday weekend, so just be patient. There's a lot of people out on the roads, you know, a lot of people frustrated and angry, whatever is going on in their lives, on top of the fact that they've been cooped up in the house, forever so just a lot of tempers running you know be careful okay this 501 energy in reverse yeah this is um showing up as a silent enemy as well because i think it goes hand in hand with this eight of wands in reference to frustration uh but also what could be going on is um somebody could be coming back to apologize the five of wands in reverse could represent somebody saying okay let's not fight anymore or let's let's quell the drama so that could go, that could coincide with all these cards, or they could be three separate scenarios for any of you, but they could all be combined in certain ways as well. But I get an energy of um, somebody wanting to come back towards you, and, and, and or maybe you want to go towards someone, I'm not sure, but I feel like, you know, because this is about you, you need to be careful of the people that you're dealing with around you. There were people who were around you who are acting as if they're not competing with you, but they are secretly that five of wands, when it's upright, it talks about competing with people. It talks about uh, competition, jealousy, rivalry, envy. It could also talk about physical altercation. Um, the five of wands is Mars in Leo. And Mars is currently in Leo, um, I believe, until July 11th. Something like that. I don't have it pulled up. I'm sorry. But Mars is, is in Leo right now, and it's about to come out. But, um, you know, this is a very aggressive, confrontational energy. So just be careful because one minute things could be cool, especially when you're out and about. Then the next minute people losing their minds. You know, 
bon going bonkers and you know with Pluto in retrograde you don't want to be playing with people's tempers because Pluto is all about transformation Saturn in retrograde as well Saturn is all about you know your karma from a past life and um, some of you are settling up karma uh, a lot of people are because it's in retrograde so it's a lot of heavy energy going on so just watch the people around you watch your temper don't be hasty about things keep yourself cool and hydrated all right um, watch your your spending um, but that's what I got for you cancer so uh, you know let me know if this resonated by clicking the like button if you want to leave a comment on how it resonates that's what the comment section is for feel free to do so if you this didn't resonate check your other placements okay because you're not just cancer so you may want to check the other silent enemies reading so you may be a cancer son but your ascendant sign could be Gemini so check your Gemini silent enemies reading your moon could be a uh, Scorpio so check the Scorpio silent enemy reading as well all right um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, all right, and hit that notification bell. I post every week for all the signs. If this type of reading doesn't resonate with you, it's cool. Just don't watch it anymore. Um, but check out the other styles of readings because there's various types of readings on the channel for you, okay? So uh, I'm going to go to the extended. We're going to break all these down, okay? I'm going to pull a couple cards for each of these to get more in-depth in this. So if this resonated, make sure you uh, come to the extended, okay? All right, Cancer, happy birthday to you again. Uh, <laughs> the country is a Cancerian country. The United States is a Cancerian country, uh, you know, because it's celebrating its birthday as well. So I wish you guys the best. Take care.